Hello all and welcome to the Reinhardt's Rundown. We've been reviewing clinical pearls about topical dosage forms, specifically as they relate to topical corticosteroids, one of the most common medication classes that we see prescribed. We'll drop notes below to the video on topical dosage forms and potency. And today we'll talk a little bit about application. Remember, there's about 15 different topical steroids that are available by prescription. They vary greatly in strength, potency, dosage form, etc. But we're going to talk today about why those factors matter based on application. There are certain areas of our body that are particularly susceptible to the side effects of topical corticosteroids. Local side effects can actually be pretty significant and include thinning of the skin, hyper or hypopigmentation, formation of telangiectasias as well. This is where you have little blood vessels that form at the surface of the skin. It should be noted that telangiectasias and pigment changes in the skin may or may not go away, and so it's possible that these are permanent side effects. It should also be noted that I had to practice saying tel uh, telangiectasias about 45 times today. Telangiectasias, telangiectasias. Of course, you also have the classics of, you know, things like increased uh, skin infection, impaired wound healing, redness, peeling, irritation, dermatitis, etc. The areas that are most likely to be susceptible to local effects include the face, eyelids, and genitals. So avoid high potency steroids in those areas. Another relevant factor is how easily the skin absorbs the medication. Thin-skinned areas like the armpits, groin, under the breast, these are all locations where low potency is preferred and high potency should be avoided because the medication is so easily absorbed in those areas. Thanks for watching. Next time in the series, we'll look at how much is too much for topical corticosteroids. That's the Reinhardt's Rundown.